Doing your part is important, but one person can't keep up with Mother Nature. To turn this into this takes teamwork. Luckily, corporations are your allies. Not only producing tons of cheap crap for you to buy, but tons and tons of toxic waste. And though you might not be lucky enough to live next to a factory, mm. there are still chances for you to reap the benefits. This is Bob Andelman, and you're listening to and hopefully watching the Mr. Media interview with Jifui Bodo, the director of the 2010 Academy Award nominated animated short, Let's Pollute. Uh, the sarcasm uh, that the film projects, does that, uh, does that come naturally to you? Um, I think. <laughs> It's been something, I guess for me, um, I, I wanted to really make the film accessible. Mm -hmm. And whether or not I achieved that, I'm not sure. But um, I, the, the, the attempt was to make it uh, humorous and such. And I obviously did pick sarcasm. And obviously, being that it is slightly, is, has, you know... It's it's deals with the satire and such. So, you know, it's it's uh, and it and even though I attempted to make it accessible, mm -hmm. I definitely did not want to water it down and try to like soften it to a point where it lost kind of that undercurrent. Uh, and and even though so even though it has a very pervasive undercurrent in it, I think I think uh, I have gotten uh, uh, some. Uh, Flack from you know negative negative feedback from uh, hmm. I don't know who who all exactly and uh, <laughs> it, it, you know has uh, kind of uh, focused on that but but my my attempt was not really to to try to you know preach to the choir or to try to win over you know the extremes mm -hmm. I my attempt was kind of try to focus on a film that was accessible to a, that large kind of uh, area where I feel people are still, you know, maybe haven't made up their minds or, or that they're still receptive or someone that I, th I think the film, if you, if you bring, go come to the film with at least somewhat of an open mind that I think, I think you can actually get something out of it. Hmm. And uh, so, what are you doing next? Where do you go from here? Yeah, uh, well, for here, for, for the film itself, uh, I'm hoping that the film can actually take on, um, I've got some uh, interest in uh, both educational uh, high schools, colleges, and, and uh, who knows, that are becoming more interested in it. So I'm hoping that the film can actually maybe go into more of an educational Tool because I think it's a good a good um, uh, film to, to get uh, to get the the uh, get people talking. Mm -hmm. It's it's it feels like there's enough in there that uh, you know afterwards that it definitely can bring up uh, uh, that aspect of things. But in terms of me as a filmmaker, um, I'm also um, hoping that with with the uh, kind of uh, spotlight that this film has gotten that I'm, I'm actually trying to develop uh, three films hmm. that Let's Pollute would be part of a triad of films that could be packaged together. Um, and uh, those three films would be Let's Pollute, which is now done, and then there would be uh, Peace is for Sissies. <laughs> and then uh, the third one would be Try Ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> seems so, like a seems like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so that was my idea for a little a little a pack of, that they would kind of take a similar kind of uh, a tone and approach, but attack kind of uh, attack or or you know help kind of shine that that uh, emphasis on on three different topics. Okay, well, folks, uh, listen, you can order Let's Pollute uh, only on iTunes. And you can learn more about the film and its director at letspollute.com. And Chief Weboto, thank you so much for joining us on Mr. Media today. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking with you. Our pleasure. And uh, folks, for more original interviews with America's top uh, filmmakers, you can surf over to our main website, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes, and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. 
You can also listen with a cartoon piece of string and a tin can, as Jifui does, in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, a comment on today's show, or would like to advertise on Mr. Media, please email me directly at bob at mrmedia.com. And, of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Thanks so much for joining us today. Always appreciate you giving up a piece of your day and spending with us. Thanks for watching or listening. Bye-bye.